Thank you, Jack, to be here in Jackson Hall uh, with you and present how to make the typical Polish heavy woven nymph. So it's very important in uh, Polish nymphing. But I am going to use now the oak. You know, I am using mostly TMCO 2457, uh, number six, number uh, eight, number 10, number 12. Depends what kind of water I fish. Hmm. Now this is a bit on here. I use a regular uh, golden um, bit head. You can also use uh, Thompson head, different color, whatever you want. Now I'm going with the thread under the latch. First I'm going around with the thread because it's very helpful under under latch wire. Why? Because then after never twist, you know. You said I'm going to use latch wire, but I, I show you a little trick. I start always with a flat, you know. And you look now what I'm going to to make. Hold here a little bit and then I go around with a lead wire, but same like I start, same like I, I was start here. I'm going to use needle prior, or you can use regular prior, and flood a little bit here, okay? Then I'm going to around, as you, you can see now, you have regular, regular, you don't need to use uh, backing or something like that. You start from nothing and you end on nothing. Okay, then I'm going with the thread now. I'm going to use a uh, to use little bit thicker uh, backing and I can use of course like this. With I'm going around now. Okay. I can cut this to finish this. In America, you can call floss, but I call <laughs> backing because I'm using under the, my thread. Okay, then I can cut this in here. Go a little bit more with the thread and hold everything together like this. Okay. couple of time, yeah. Right. Now, what I am going to use? I am going to use a regular needle point thread, two different colors, but I'm going to put him on, on the hat here, on the like this, both, and also I, I'm going to use regular, regular copper wire, like copper wire. Okay, then we'll go again on the top of the, of the loose nymph, holding fast, then I can hold this wire here, and of, okay, I'm ready to to weave now. Okay, I finish with this step here, make knot here, and what I said, I am ready to weave now. Okay, what we can, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to rotate all my fly, all my leaf and everything together. Everything, what is going to the top in here, it's on my right hand. And everything what is going to bottom is on my left hand. And you see, I have two different different color thread. And I start to weave. Look okay, look here. I am going this way, then on the right hand, I'm going to to this side. And again, like that. And again, 
left, right, left, right. Okay, it's right now, left now, right, okay, and left. I'm going to down, and again, see, slowly, again, slow, like this. Okay, now I'm going to finish this, this net, hold with thread, not the thread. Remember, always you must hold with power those two threads, okay? Then I'm going to, to cut little thread and those both those two threads here can short that is possible and then I'm going to finish you know those knives okay copper wire and I am going now between segments here oh the seg between the segments here like that slowly because I want to show you how to how to make this okay. Between every segment you can put the this this wire, okay? Then we are going to I'm going to finish this. Okay. Same like before. Cut this. And what I am going to use uh dubbing. Dubbing in English and Polish the same, dubbing, dubbing. But this, I think, the international <laughs> word for this. I like him very much, though, the, this dubbing, you know. I am going to use this color. This dub compound helped me a lot. Then I'm going to use this wax a little bit here, okay, not that much. Go around a couple of times, okay. Then I'm going to finish, okay, I'm going to finish, okay. Also, the two, now I can make some kind of room here, then Thread is going in, and this one, so two. Everybody uses, you know, the finisher, but I <laughs> I'm going to use it like this. Oh, a little bit glue, and the anchor, anchor fly name is ready. Uh, very important in Polish name thing, uh, if you go to fish in deep water, always the heavy fly is going to bottom. But if you're going to fish um, in uh, shallow water, uh, you can use uh, those heavy, uh, I should say, anchor fly on um, dropper. Why? Because, you know, it's much easier to pull uh, those flies together in water.